Hey guys, welcome and morning. So today we're gonna uh, assemble the drawer, IKEA drawer. <clears throat> I have checked through this um, manual book uh, and if you have seen my previous video, I assembled the side table and the drawer of IKEA. It's literally the same thing. So instead of me assembling the side table of IKEA uh, and explain to you uh, part by part how to assemble uh, the pieces uh, I'm gonna just uh, make the video on the drawer so let's now start building the drawer so these will be the two parts when you purchase a drawer my one is x Pro, and the first part in the package comes as a drawer itself how to assemble the three drawers so I'm gonna be opening first this package then the second package, after finishing with the first, the second package will consist of building the drawer. You can say the structure itself, where you insert the drawers when once ready. So I'm gonna be building this drawer. There will be three of them inside it. One, I will just need to explain you guys only one, which you need for the same for the second and the third. So this is how it looks when you open the first package. And uh, it turns out that the manual is uh, showing the structure, the drawer uh, structure parts. So I guess we're going to assemble the structure first and then maybe the second one is the drawer itself because it shows here shaded. So once we open the second package then you'll, you'll, uh, you'll see the, the, the drawers are shaded. So now let's uh, build the structure first, it's not a problem drawing. I mean like sorry assembling the structure or the drawers first but the thing is now I open this so now we're gonna build this so I have removed uh, the parts the components of the uh, drawer the structure of the drawer and uh, this is the side piece you will have two of them one is for the right side and one is for the left side of the drawer so this one is the left side how can you see it for you, you can see uh, sorry this one would be the right side actually you can see the three holes here so that's how you differentiate first the sides of the uh, drawer or the structure and if you see the three holes here this will be the down area that's where you're gonna place the floor at and this means facing this direction so the drawers will be like opening at this end so this is the right side because this is where you're gonna uh, insert things okay so first thing is you're gonna uh, put what should i say as these wood sticks into these holes and into this the smaller ones then we're gonna screw them with these into this and into this so after doing this next part comes installing the rails for the drawers on the right piece as I said that if this is the right piece I have explained to you earlier so you're gonna need the right piece rail it's, it is mentioned over here as CR R means for the right so that you have to install it here one over here one I have already installed for you guys to show you and the next one comes up to these holes right here so this is how it's gonna look once it's done this is where the drawers are inserted and hops on and start rolling that's how it should look so this is how it looks once it's done the rails the screw and the wood perfect so just for those who are building for the side table one piece of uh, this uh, rail for the drawer is not there the rest it is the same so now this is the right piece of the uh, structure you have to use the same process to do for the left part
so both sides are ready this will be for the right part of the drawer this will be for the left part of the drawer this is how the arrangement looks like now we're going to use the other parts to combine these two okay so these are the parts which we will require to combine these two first so these are the three parts and all these three will be used at the base the bottom of the drawer that's what it will hold them together down so the first part consists of no stickers compared to this as you can see so this checkboard will come on the back side and you can use it on either one of the part so we're gonna insert as you can see just like this for the screw to fit in and press okay this is how it's gonna look and if you can see the screw is visible it came out right here so that's how you're gonna place the next one is this big one which will be used not on the back side on the front side of the drawer and it's gonna you're gonna take this if you can see from this side it's not done properly and here there's a sticker of it here so this will be the front area and it's gonna come flip it over nope yeah this will be perfect where the hole is visible you can see that and it goes right here and press Okay. and the last piece which is the most thin one if you can see the sticker stops right here on the back so this will be the front part that too will be placed exactly it got its holes so you can insert it right here make sure it sits down properly now this is how it should look once i hold it like this and if you can see this part it should insert exact the same arrangement as i have done on the right part so the left part i'm going to insert these into these holes and it should fit perfectly so now the thing is i'm holding the camera so it won't be easy while i'm already holding the uh, right part of the uh, side uh, drawer so just see how I insert them while I keep the camera so once done you need to fasten these things onto the side part and you require them you require these things to fasten it <clears throat> how to do is the arrow facing should be towards the screw or towards the table and you insert them like this once done you can see an opening here right because it's not tightened so you're gonna rotate it as shown in the arrow clockwise and if you see the arrow should face the opposite direction and you can see there is no gap and now this is tightened similarly you have to do for this and for this big piece on top you're gonna flip this thing over and you're gonna find the holes bottom you're gonna fix those you can I call them maybe you can say screw or fastener or type uh, tightener and tighten so once done with the fastening of the screws now we're gonna start with the 
upper part or upper portion of the drawer so this is the bottom side of the upper portion where you need to uh, insert screws in the smaller holes and the wood sticks you can see over here in the bigger holes so once done you're gonna rotate it this area to insert the top portion of the drawer so once you have inserted it you need to once again use these guys to insert it here similarly for these two here to fasten the, the top part to the side part which will complete the structure Once done, tightening the upper portion of the drawer, you need to now uh, flip it over with this lines. If you can see, is usually for inserting the back portion uh, to cover the back side. So, if you can see here, the sticker is crossing over the. Uh, you can see the, the line so you need to uh, take the screwdriver and push it through to open the opening properly that's where you're gonna slide in the back piece into it just let me do it for you guys it should look make sure even the holes over here over all the corners are cleaned up So once done inserting the back portion, make sure it's not the opposite piece. This hole should be aligned to the hole of this wood, similar for this. We're gonna use these pieces, which is given in the package, set them like that to hold the back portion in the place. And you're gonna use those fasteners and insert them like that. We're gonna do for the remaining holes you got for the side ones like here and insert them just let me focus yeah and then use the fasteners do not push all the way through just make sure it's tight enough in this one it will go all the way through down but for the side ones just make sure you don't force after fastening the uh, back portion of the uh, drawer you're gonna need the last piece in the package of the first uh, box package uh, this uh, carpet uh, floor protector so it will protect the carpet or the wooden floor from damage or even the item from damage so you're gonna just insert them like this if it's not easy to insert then use a hammer instead so here it's not properly inserting you can just fix it properly.
and that's how the structure of the drawer is ready so this is the second package and I have explained earlier you can see the shaded area is now focused on the drawer so these are the components for the drawer and I do need the manual because uh, I have made already one drawer ready as you can see earlier and I made two side tables of the same as well uh, type so I know every step so let's start building the first drawer once I'm done building the first drawer you can use the same steps to build the second and the third just follow them repeat them so let's build it so you're gonna require the drawer front side where the handle goes this is the front part of the drawer that's how it should look there will be a handle here in this part and this will be like the frontal area but the back side where you're gonna assemble the side parts so we're gonna start working on this one here same way the bigger holes you require to insert the woods here for the small holes right here and there you require these After finishing this part, we require now the side parts of the drawer. Make sure when, when you get the side parts, it's a bit of confusing right here. So I'll explain that these holes on this side should be facing towards the front area or portion of the drawer. It should fit like this. And one more point, it's a very important point also that if you can see this part, it should be like flat, it should be aligned once fully inserted and if you can see this part is rounded. Now let me explain what can go wrong here. If I take that portion's part which is this in this area which is also can fit here if you see it it's circular that's flat so make sure it will be it needs to be flat like here which will then come onto that part Once done, you require these guys, and same as the one for the structure, same arrow facing towards the screw, insert it, and now you cannot use the, the, these type of screwdrivers and turn them clockwise to tighten it similarly you're gonna do for the this one and the other two on that direction once done you need to insert the back portion or the lower portion sorry of the drawer as you can see if i turn it opposite it's white so this should come inwards and the brown side should come Upwards. This is how you're gonna place them in the slot there 
once done we require the back portion of the drawer facing it inwards the slot should fit into this area while the sides should fit into that slot of the side Once it's fit properly, sits properly, you require to fill this by using these. As it's difficult to uh, insert by fingers, you need to hammer it. Now, for the final part, you need to secure the back portion is to install these, the rollers or the rails on this in order to fix into that structural part. So, you're gonna need to place them like this, which over here comes aligned to this part and you require these screws they are very small but they are thick And for the final part, for the owners of the side tables, we need to install the handle with the screw. And that's, we're gonna insert them on the back and screw them. That will be for the uh, owners who have purchased the side table and the drawers requires this much. And for those who have purchased the drawers, need to go an extra mile by fastening more because this area here is wide enough once you put something into it, it's gonna like bend. So you need these on the lower side or on the lower uh, side to tighten them on those corners. So that's how you assemble a drawer and this at the end would keep this part from not going down while you keep your clothes and if it gets heavy in between. So you're gonna repeat this process for the second and the third drawer and finally we'll come to have those drawers inserted there. So these are the three doors they are ready now.